Really uh, some incredible images we just saw there. For us here, quiet day. We're enjoying looking at the sun. It really is really a very pleasant day. It started out rather cold, but one thing we knew we were having uh, forward uh, the rest of the day looking forward, uh, lack of wind and a, a bounty of sunshine. And those elements have been key in the weather picture, warming things nicely, and it actually feels fantastic out there, uh, much more so than some days where we've had similar temperatures and a lot of wind. Here's time lapse from this morning with our Lewis Donato camera. For time, it was a little overcast, but the skies have cleared pretty well, and we have blue skies in charge right now. We started the morning with the coldest temperature in a couple of weeks. It was five degrees first thing this morning in Rochester, officially the coldest reading since January 21st. Last time we were also below zero. It's certainly the last time we were uh, at or below the seasonal average as temperatures go. So the first time in a long time we've had something of more reminiscent of the beginning of February, something we typically expect this time of the year uh, and the average high this time of the year uh, in the mid 20s. Average low is actually nine. We were a little bit below that this morning. Single digits early this morning. Five was the, the official low between five and six o'clock. Then we saw that nice little uh, surge in warmth, especially with the erosion of that cloud cover looking toward the heart of the Med City with our Lewis Donato camera. Very light winds, 20. The temperature it actually feels like 20 uh, right now. Is we have almost no wind to speak of, and that's kind of a nice thing. 20, uh, air pressure falling 30.16 inches in the barometer. Regionally, across the entire area, really, uh, really comfortable temperatures, at least for this time of the day for early February standards. And again, you fa factor in the lack of a wind chill impact, it actually feels this warm or this comfortable for the most part. Still winter weather, but not the usual blustery stuff like we had yesterday with 17, 18 mile per hour winds pretty much the length of the day. 21 in Preston, Osage 25. It's 19 in Dodge Center. The sky is slowly clearing after that round of clouds early on. There's still some snow going on in parts of southeast Iowa. Down to Illinois, this is where they're expecting a winter weather advisory type headlines, especially in Missouri, up to four inches of snow there. With that system that's grazing us to the south, we had the thin canopy of cirrus clouds to show for it. That's it. Otherwise, high pressure has protected us and brought us a fairly tranquil uh, Wednesday. 20 at Rochester, uh, Minneapolis now 27, uh, Sioux Falls 27, southward extra cloud cover, uh, making it a little bit uh, colder in uh, Des Moines 25 there and Dubuque 25. Uh, looking ahead at today, midweek sunshine today and tomorrow, both in that category. Friday, not as much sun. In fact, a little light snow and then another round of snow that looks to be heavier for Sunday. Maybe more of a significant snow event for us, uh, more so than the last couple of weeks have provided us. But sunshine through the afternoon, a light breeze, high temperature around 24, pretty much spot on for what we expect this time of the year. Partly cloudy tonight, not very much wind. The temperature's easing back into the teens, but that's about it. Not that sharp drop off we had yesterday when we reached, uh, again, the single digit readings early this morning. But future cast showing that high pressure gliding out of the east, a very gentle south breeze today through tonight and really even tomorrow. It'll help us go from the teens to mid and upper 20s for high temperatures on Thursday. Clouds begin to envelop the area for late tomorrow evening and eventually as we move along into Friday, little doses of light snow will slowly work their way across the map and giving us a chance of minor accumulations at the course of our Friday, winding down by early Friday evening. It looks like we're going to have more of a southerly storm track with the larger systems for the most part. That's where we've been recently and with more of that uh, high pressure influence in our weather and minor clipper systems aside from that system that comes in on Sunday. Sunday with more of that impact and maybe more of those darker colors and the snowfall map uh, headed our way. A possibility of several inches of snowfall with that system on Sunday. Next week, 20s and low 30s are pretty common and that will be at or near, if not above average, with temperatures uh, more often than not. So 24 in Rochester today, Winona 30, Austin 27, and in North Iowa, similar situation. Maybe just a few extra clouds there. Uh, Mason City 24 and Saratoga 25. That light southwest breeze making it feel like it's the mid-20s. 11 degrees tonight, partly cloudy, not much wind. And then tomorrow, a lot of sun. 25 for the first day of social ice. Evening temperatures in the lower 20s and the clouds thickening at that point. But the snow arrives uh, early Friday morning as much as half an inch, maybe a little more in a couple of spots. Several inches of snowfall Sunday and then next week some sun and maybe some midweek snow. Temperatures, though, all well above zero, all warmer than today, in fact. And we are really excited for social ice. We have a very special ice creation of our own here at KTTC. Yeah. We'll be